Hey everybody, Greg here with Funnel Chats, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your SendGrid SMTP integration to your ClickFunnels account via the new API method. Now, if you already have a SendGrid integration set up and you're just looking to update to the new API integration that everyone's going to be forced to use here shortly, I have another video in my channel that'll show you what to do to just make those slight adjustments. But if you're just setting this up for the first time, you're going to be ahead of the game here. You're going to set it up using their new API, which is more secure, more reliable, and it's going to avoid any hiccups in the future if you set it up this way. So this is what's going to allow you to send emails directly from your ClickFunnels account, from your funnels, or from your follow-up funnels. All an SMTP does is handle the delivery of any emails you set up right inside of your ClickFunnels account. So in ClickFunnels, we can design the emails, choose who they're going to go out to, when they're going to go out, but the actual delivery from our account to their inbox gets handled by this thing called an SMTP. Now, SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, and it can be kind of confusing, but basically any autoresponder or email sending service out there uses this, and they usually just don't tell you anything about it because it can be, well, really confusing. So, ClickFunnels is one of the few platforms that I actually know of that allows you to have full control over this. And it's actually a really awesome thing. If I ever get into any trouble with my email, well, I can integrate a new SMTP integration. So it's actually fantastic. So the way I like to think of it to make it easy, this is sort of my little epiphany that I had with SMTP integrations. It's sort of like having your own personal um, FedEx or UPS, or if you're like me in Canada, your own personal Canada post just for your emails. It's going to show up, pick up the package I've put together inside of my ClickFunnels account, take it and deliver it to its destination. So this is a piece that a lot of people get stuck on. If you follow along with me in this video, you will be all set and ready to send emails from your ClickFunnels account. All right, so to get started, we are going to need a few tabs open in our browser. One, we're going to have our ClickFunnels account open. Two, we're going to have our SendGrid account open. Now, if you don't have a SendGrid account yet, just go over to SendGrid.com and follow the sign-up instructions on there. There's a forever free plan that you can get started with for free on, or you can upgrade if you need to send more emails than you are allowed to send on that free plan. We'll also need access to wherever we are managing the DNS records of the domain that we're going to be using in our SMTP integration. So usually whatever the domain is on the end of your customized email address. So if you have like Gregory at funnelchats.com, I need access to the domain funnelchats.com. Choosing an example domain here, sensysoap.com. But wherever that is, so it's going to be the place where you can add in CNAME records, MX records, TXT records, all these different records that get associated with your custom domain. So this could be all kinds of different places. If you've done it the way I recommend setting it up, it'll be inside of Cloudflare, but you could have access to this inside of like GoDaddy or Namecheap, or if you've purchased your domain directly through ClickFunnels, you could find access to these right inside of your domain settings inside of ClickFunnels as well. And when we go to add some records in here, I'll show you how to do this as well if you've purchased your domain through ClickFunnels. But no matter where it is, you're gonna be adding in the same type of records the interface will just look a little bit different than what I'm using here, but it's the same idea. We're just going to add in some records to make this connection. Then as a bonus, if you go to help.clickfunnels.com and just search on there for SendGrid, you'll find this help doc called Setting Up SendGrid and Domain Authentication. And for this, optional, but it will be handy when we get to section um, 5 or 10 here. I think it's 10. Actually, right down here, whatever section this is, where they actually start connecting the integration on the ClickFunnels side, there's just some information we can copy off this to make things even easier. So with those four things, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is actually set up the domain authentication. So log into your SendGrid account. Now, if you're on a brand new account, I recommend actually verifying your email address first. So when you create your account, it will send an email to your inbox. And all you do is click on the link to verify your email. 
then you can follow these steps inside of here. Now, when it's a new account, there's actually going to be some finish your account setup steps that you could follow right from on here. But what we're going to do is go through this. So first, we're going to set up our domain authentication. So we're going to come over to that, uh, settings here, and we're going to come down to sender authentication. In sender authentication, under domain authentication, we're going to click right here on get started. In here, you choose your DNS host. So again, this could be like GoDaddy or Namecheap, all kinds of different places. If you've purchased your domain through ClickFunnels, I recommend setting it to this, DN Simple. If you've purchased it anywhere else, you'll see I have the Cloudflare option, but I'm actually not going to choose that. I'm just going to come down to other hosts not listed. Set this to no link branding. We're going to set that to no ClickFunnels. It's actually going to take care of this on the ClickFunnels side for us. And then we're just going to click right here where it says next. And it asks us to put in the domain. So again, whatever domain you're going to have on the end of your email address. So mine's just going to be sensisoup.com. And then we'll click on next. Now it gives me these three DNS records I need to add into my DNS manager. So again, I've rerouted my DNS settings through Cloudflare. So I'm going to do it over here. Now, if you've purchased your domain anywhere else, it's going to be a similar setup. I want to show you specifically if you've purchased it through ClickFunnels, come into your account settings, then go over to domains, load up the domain you've purchased through ClickFunnels, come down to edit zone records, and this is where you're going to add in these records. So it's going to be three CNAME records. And what you do is go over to the SendGrid side, Copy the host information here. So just click the copy button, paste this into the name field. And this is something that causes roadblocks for so many people I see trying to set up this integration when they purchase their domain through ClickFunnels. If I actually enter this in like this, the way it'll get saved on ClickFunnels site is actually em3228.sensysoap.com.sensysoap.com. So whatever we put in here, when we hit save it automatically in the background, we don't see it. But everything we see right here in the background, it's invisible, actually has .sensysoap.com on the end of it. So we need to actually remove this dot, your domain.com or whatever your domain is, take that off. So it's just everything before that first dot. Then copy the value, paste that into here, hit save, and you'll have to open up the DNS records section again and add in the next two, same way, removing .yourdomain.com off of all of these. Now, if you're doing it in Cloudflare and some other uh, domain hosts as well, you can actually paste this in just like this, and it'll automatically remove it for you. So I'm doing mine in Cloudflare. I'm just going to click here on Add Record. I'm going to add in a CNAME record. And when I paste this in, when we save it, you'll see it'll actually remove this off for me. And I don't have to worry about it. So we can copy this, paste it in here. And then we need to turn off this little orange cloud. So just click on that and then click on save. See how it's in here? So then we'll grab our next one, just copy it from here, go into Cloudflare, add a CNAME record, paste in the name value, copy. The next value here and put that into the target turn off our orange cloud and click save one last time we'll copy this one add a cname record paste it into here copy this and paste it into here turn off our orange cloud and click on save so with all three records in here we're all set or if you did it on the click phone side or anywhere else you need to have all those three records in. And sometimes it can take a little while for this to actually be published onto the internet. But we can try right now if we just click here on I've added these records and click on verify. So mine went through right away. If yours hasn't gone through it, you either need to just wait a little bit longer or try entering in those records that you got from SendGrid without your domain.com on the end of it, just like I showed you for the ClickFunnels site. So there we go. We can click here to return to sender authentication. 
you can see it's verified and it's set up. So that's good. Then we have something called single sender verification. We want to send this or set this up as well. If you click over here on get started, you just want to fill this in. You're going to put your name, your from email, and your reply to email. This is like the email that would receive any replies to your emails sent through SendGrid. So I usually just make this exactly the same. Then put in your company address. And just give this sender uh, ver single sender verification and nickname for inside of your SendGrid account. It can be anything. And then just click on create. So since this is the same domain that we just authenticated, it automatically goes through right away. But if you used a different domain that we didn't authenticate, it would send you some verification information in your email. And you just have to set that up. It'll give you all the instructions. So I recommend doing it this way. It's all set. Next thing we're going to do is enable something called two-factor authentication. This is the big reason for why we need to make these updates. So if we go over to two-factor authentication, we're just going to click here on add two-factor authentication. This is going to make your account more secure. Click here on OK, got it. I just leave this set to text message. Click on next. And we're going to put our own phone number in here. So this will be blurred out on your screen. I'm going to put my own phone number in here and then click on next. Now it's going to text message me a verification code. And I'm just going to type that into here. Then click on save. And there we go. Our two factor authentication is set up. Now, if you already have a SendGrid account set up, I'm going to have another video going over how to just update what's already in there. But in the past, you were able to connect SendGrid to your ClickFunnels account just using your username and password. But if you turn on two-factor authentication to make your account more secure, that connection will actually break. So what we do is we connect it via an API. An API is just going to allow these two platforms to communicate with each other. And it's more secure. So we're going to come over here to where it says API keys. Click on this. And we're going to create our API key. So just click here on create API key. We're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call mine the ClickFunnels API. And we leave this set to full access. Then click here on create and view. And this is going to be blurred out on your screen as well, but it gives us this big string of characters. You just copy that out of there. And I recommend pasting that into like a notepad somewhere where you can easily find it. We're never going to see this full number again inside of our SendGrid account. So make sure you save this somewhere on your computer. Once you have that, click on done. And then you're all set. Your API is created and we have it copied to our clipboard. So now that that's set up, we can start setting this up inside of our ClickFunnels account. So what we're going to do, just go back to the dashboard here. What we're going to do is go over to our ClickFunnels dashboard, go up to our account settings. We're going to go over to email integrations. In here, we're going to add in a new email integration. And we're going to select transactional and marketing. Really important, select this. Then we're going to give our new uh, SendGrid integration or our new SMTP integration a name here. So I'm going to call mine like Fancy soap, send grid. Put in whatever we want our from name to be from any of the emails that we're going to send through our ClickFunnels account. Whatever the from email is going to be, so usually have that domain that we just connected to SendGrid. Now, for SMTP server, port, some of this other info, we're going to get it from over here in this doc. But remember, I only I still have that API key copied to my clipboard right now. So if you haven't pasted that into a notepad or something, before you even fill in these, 
go back into here and under SMTP password, paste in your API key. Which have that long string of characters. Then go back over here. We need the SMTP server, which is smtp.sendgrid.net. I'm just going to copy it off of there and paste it into here. Next up, we have the port, which is 587. I'm just going to copy it from here and paste it into here. Now for the SMTP username, this used to be like your email or your SendGrid username. Now it's just going to be these exact characters, A-P-I-K-E-Y, A-P-I key. Be the same for everyone. And your password is the API key that we just pasted in. Then SMTP domain, we'll get that from the help doc as well. It's right here, it's just sendgrid.net. And then this next domain selection, here you need to choose a domain that's connected to your ClickFunnels account. It's going to be associated with your link branding, like the links that send out from your emails that you send from ClickFunnels. So I recommend having this, this as the same domain that you're seeing right here. If this domain isn't connected to your ClickFunnels account, all of your outgoing emails will fail. Then down here, we just fill in our business address again. And then for the SMTP footer, this is a footer that's going to be applied to every single email you send through your ClickFunnels account. And we can set this up so that it automatically has an unsubscribe link on it because we want to have that on all of our emails to give people the ability to unsubscribe from us so that we can comply with any email sending rules that are out there. So in that help doc, it actually gives us a little snippet here. We can copy right off of here. And I recommend just pasting that right into here and replacing all this information with your business info. So I'm just going to fill this in quick. And then your phone number here. And then here where it says unsubscribe, this whole little piece of code right here is creating a little unsubscribe link on the footer of every email, email you send out. Where it says unsubscribe, that's the actual words that will be clickable on the bottom of the email for them to get to the unsubscribe page. So you can make this say anything you want, like click here to unsubscribe, click here to not receive any more emails from me. You can make it say anything you want. Just make sure it's clear that there is a place that they can click on to unsubscribe from receiving your emails. Then choose whether or not you want this to be your default SMTP integration that's automatically selected whenever you're creating a new email inside of ClickFunnels or your follow-up funnels. And then click on Save SMTP Integration. Now, we're going to load it back up here. And there is one more thing we're going to do. is so We're going to set up our webhooks. So right here, it says Set Up with SendGrid. We're going to copy this little string here, this little URL. We're going to go back into our SendGrid account. And we're going to hit the settings drop down and go to mail settings. Mine's already on here because I've used this already, but yours would probably say disabled here. You click on here and there'd be no information in here. What we do is leave authorization method set to none, paste our webhook into here, then scroll down and check these boxes. Dropped, bounced, delivered, open, clicked, unsubscribed, and spam reports. And if this is set to disabled, set it to enabled and click on save. It'll say success. The webhook settings have been updated. Then the last thing we need to do is go back into here. Just click here on verify email settings. And if everything's set up properly, you'll get this green little message. Let's save one last time just to be safe. And there you have it. You're all ready to send emails from your ClickFunnels account using your SMTP integration via the new API connection. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much.